Hi, this is Dr. Joni Lear, and welcome to part three of Why Are You Stronger Than You Think? I've been talking about the collective ego and its institutions that are trying to keep you in line. You've been programmed by certain things, by certain thoughts to think since before you were even born, maybe, but definitely right after you were born. So that you, the programming usually starts in babyhood at a very young age. But there's something else. There's something else that the collective ego has created and it's called the individual ego. Your individual ego is in your face every day, every moment that you are trying to break out, even though you will be able to break out. I assure you of that. But think of the individual ego as being your spyware, okay? It's spyware. So every time you want to do something and you think you can't do it, every time you want to do something or say something and you bite your tongue, well, it's because your spyware is in motion, okay? It's preventing you from speaking the truth about your feelings, so one thing about the collective ego is that it wants you to believe that your brain is superior to anything else. Your big brain is superior to anything else, especially your feelings. But your feelings are extremely important because the cosmos is a feeling consciousness. So it responds to your feelings. Now we'll get into you know, a set of true feelings later on in my talks, but today, let's just know that your feelings are very important, but your but the collective ego has been telling you that your intellect is a lot more important, that thinking is more important, but the thing is, is that your thinking should be influenced by your feelings, by your inner truth, by your true self. Okay, so I'll be back again with another episode of the series. I'll see you again soon.